In other news now, the defense painted a key government witness as a liar today in the Kilpatrick corruption case and showed the jury an entirely different side of payments that the feds called bribes. Yesterday, federal prosecutors played wiretaps and videos of James Rosendahl and Bernard Kilpatrick discussing money that Kilpatrick was going to get when a sludge hauling contract got approved by the city. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo on top of this trial. And uh, Heather, you told us yesterday, Bernard Kilpatrick's lawyer, uh, what did he have to say today? Well, as he told us yesterday, he was ready for this witness and he was very, very effective. James Rosendahl, obviously, Glenda, a huge witness witness for the feds. The feds really used him to try to get a lot of activity on tape. Now, John Shea has been preparing for Rosendahl for weeks, and it was almost like he used the feds' own recordings against them. He painted an entirely different picture of Rosendahl, showing over and over again that Rosendahl was lying on those wiretaps and working behind the scenes with someone else who seemed to be double-crossing Bernard Kilpatrick. Wow. So how did Bernard Kilpatrick's lawyer explain the money that changed hands? Well, essentially that his client worked for it, oh. and he basically basically tried to show uh, receipts for lunch meetings and for text messages that seemed to back up some of the things that, that Bernard Kilpatrick was trying to do, allegedly, to try to get the Sinegro deal passed. Now, federal prosecutors really focused on two exchanges that totaled $5,000. Shea got Rosendahl to admit that was the same dollar amount that Bernard Kilpatrick and his business partner had sent Sinegro an invoice for. And there's still more to come on that, but Shea is systematically trying to take apart some of the testimony yesterday that seemed so very, very damaging. Yeah, peace by piece, dramatic testimony, and I'm sure you'll stay on top of it, Heather. Thank you so much.